Well guys, it is that time of the month again. This is the June Advanced Waterfowl Hunter's Hall box. I think the last time I unboxed a Hunter's Hall box for you guys was back in February. So this is the next waterfowl box since then and I'm super stoked to get it open up and take a look at it. But for those of you guys who don't know what Hunter's Hall is, it is a subscription box that comes to your door every single month with whatever hunting gear you decide to pick. They've got Western Big Game, Whitetail, Waterfowl, Predator, Turkey Box once a year. I mean, th there's all different types of boxes, so be sure to check out the website. I'll leave a link to it in the description, and uh, you guys can go pick one up. And with your first box, you do get a welcome box with a whole bunch of cool stuff inside of it. So, like I said, this is the June Waterfowl Advanced Hunter's Hall box. So we've got over $100 worth of waterfowl hunting gear inside this box. So I'm super stoked about it, and uh, I'm ready to get this thing open and see what we've got. Okay, it looks really full, and it looks like we got some good stuff in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and set this down. And the first things that I'm gonna pull out of the box are in the Pro Box. So the Pro Box comes in at $45, and the Advanced Box comes in at $110. So with paying $110, you obviously get more gear inside your box. And with paying $45 for the Pro Box, you don't get some items that are in this box here. What I'm trying to say is there's pro box items and then if you choose to get the advanced box, you get a couple additional items in your box. First thing here on the list is a Drake gun sling. Let's get it unpackaged and take a look at it. You know, I've found the more guns that I get and the more gun slings that I need, so it's pretty handy. And oftentimes I get asked questions about these Hunter's Hall boxes and like, how much of the stuff do I actually use? And you know, some stuff I get and I'm like, you know, I don't think I'm gonna have a use for this right now, but like six months down the road, I pick it up and I'm like, oh, I could totally use this. So gunsling, it never hurts to have an extra one around. You might have a buddy who needs one, needs to borrow it, or you get a new shotgun and you want a gunsling to go with it. So this one is in a Max 5 camo pattern. It's really thick and it's made out of neoprene, so it's got a little bit of stretch in it. Really good build quality, and that comes in at $24.99. So that's half of the price of the Pro Box already. Next up, we got a multi-tool. So this is the Gerber Mini Suspension Multi-Tool. And uh, let's go ahead and get it out of here and take a look at it. This is kind of one of those items that doesn't necessarily pertain to waterfowl necessarily but it doesn't hurt to carry a multi-tool with you when you're out hunting because you never know if you're gonna need one. Like I carry this leather man with me when I'm hunting or if I'm fishing or whatever. It's always nice to have a knife and a pair of pliers or something. So this one, it's really kind of small and compact. It's lightweight, you won't feel it in your bag or put it in your pocket. It's got a little keychain thing, so if you wanna hook it on your keychain. Um, let's see what we got here. It's got a Phillips head screwdriver, a flat head screwdriver, and a bottle opener. What's on this side? Oh, a nail file and like the little thingy to clean out the dirt from under your nails. My girlfriend would really like to, if I used that after I cleaned ducks, but you know. And then we got a knife and over here we've got a pair of tweezers. That's always nice. I know I've, I've been hunting before and gotten splinters and stuff, so that'd be kind of nice to have. And um, the last thing here looks like just a little screwdriver. So it's pretty uh, basic multi-tool, but it's got some stuff that would be pretty handy to have in the field if you need something quick and easy. So doesn't hurt to have one of those in the field. That's a nice tool. This comes in at $19.99. Okay, this next item is a Gadwall Drake call. I have never seen a Gadwall Drake call before, so I'm kind of, Curious to see what this is like. So short, quick burst of air. Don't grunt. <laughs> I've never seen a Gadwall Drake call. Um, you know, if you're a brown duck killer, you can get your Gadwall Drake call out and start calling the gaddies. <laughs> I, I don't even, whoa, shoot, there went the read. So I think I'm definitely gonna need some practice if I'm gonna use that. It's pretty cool and I'm curious about if that pintail whistle would come out of there, but I don't think it does. Gadwall call, that's kind of fun. Um, something different, never seen that before. That comes in at 9.99. 
So these next two items are something I've never seen before. I'm gonna have to really take a closer look at them. But this is a tangle free decoy line clip. And then we've also got some tangle free decoy line depth adjusters. So I'm assuming the depth adjusters are meant to adjust the depth of your decoy line. So I know some people use like 72 inch super long decoy lines and they, those can kind of be a pain when you're hunting shallower water. So it looks like these just go, yeah, like you run your line through there. I don't know, have you guys seen anything like that before? I have never seen anything quite like these before. And these other ones, it looks like they just clip your decoy to the decoy line instead of using like a, um, like a barrel swivel clip, you use one of these and then it folds over and then you clip your line together there. So th those are interesting. The line clips come in at $4.99 and the depth adjusters come in at $5.99. That is definitely something I'm gonna have to take a closer look at to really kind of figure those out. I might have to do a little searching online, see if Tangle Free has something on their website about those. Pretty interesting, I've never seen anything like that. So that was everything in the Pro Box. And the Pro Box items were the Drake Gunsling, the Gerber Multi-Tool, the Gadwall Call, and the decoy line clips and the decoy line adjusters. And that comes in at $65.95. We've got two other items in this box, and so we're gonna go ahead and pick out this one because it's on top we've got a zinc uh nightmare on stage goose call so it also has a calling dvd so if you guys don't want to watch me and my ugly face on youtube you can put this in your dvd player and watch that i'm, I'm, I'm sure i could throw that in there and learn something too so we got the uh, nightmare on stage another great goose call um, i'm very particular about my goose calls I have to tune them to how I like to blow it and how I like it to sound. So a lot of the times when they come out of the box, I don't necessarily like how they sound, but we'll give it a blow and see what it sounds like. Yeah, it's a, it's a little bit harder to blow than some of my other calls. So I'm gonna have to tune it up a little bit to tune it to how I like it. I like them to be a little bit more lower pitch and a little more moany and groany. This one's a little bit more uh, high and squeaky for little geese, but it's all personal preference. You can kind of tune it to your, how you like it. So that call with the DVD comes in at $44.99. Now this next item is the biggest item in the box and I've been kind of wanting to take a look at it since I opened it. It's got some weight to it, and it is a cupped waterfowl waiter bag. So I don't necessarily know what a waiter bag is for. Is it something to hold your waiters, or is it something that you use when you um, are waiting in the water? So there's the front of the bag. We've got a zipper pocket on the front. Let's see if there's anything special in here that gives away what this is actually for. It's almost like a duffel bag. We've got just a um, little plastic zipper pouch here, and then just this open zipper pouch. So, doesn't appear to have any other pockets on it other than this big one in the middle. So we'll open this up, take a look. So it's got a shoulder strap and just a really big open compartment in this. I honestly think this is a bag for you to keep your waders in. So if you're a person who uh, doesn't like putting your waders in the cab of your truck or your car, I'm one of those people. And so if I'm traveling somewhere to go duck hunt, I might throw my waders in there. That's kind of cool. I've never seen anything like that. And um, I just want to know if there's any more info on here. Waterproof front storage pocket, rain flap, neoprene mat to change foot, neoprene mat to change footwear? Where is this neoprene mat to change footwear? I've never been so puzzled about a bag before. Yeah, this, I think this is a bag for you to keep your waders in. I mean, it makes sense because it's got mesh on it right here. So then like it can air out and dry and water can drain out if there's extra water. So this is like something if you're a person who has a car or a truck, you want to keep your waders inside, which I highly recommend you do that in the wintertime because uh, everybody hates cold waders in the morning. So you can keep your waders in your truck while you're going to your spot, you don't have to put cold waders on. 
So that's pretty nifty. And this bag is also airline approved. So I just looked at this bag in a little bit more detail here and check it out. So this was folded up in like a hidden pocket right here on the bottom. And this is like a neoprene mat for you to stand on while you're like changing your shoes and changing your waders. So you put your waders in there, so then you're traveling or whatever, and you got a mat here to put your feet on when you're changing so you're not stepping on rocks. Pretty sweet little bag, honestly. You could use it for more than just your waders. Pretty good like duffel bag or something too. This box had a pretty interesting mix of gear and uh, some of it I'm gonna have to do a lot more research on, especially like the gadwall call. That's just interesting to me. I wanna figure out how to use a gadwall call, just say I can use a gadwall call. But um, all in all, the advanced waterfowl box for the month of June comes in at $170. I'm definitely gonna get some good use out of some of this gear that came in this box. Others, I'm gonna have to look a little bit more into detail about it, like these line clips. I'm, I'm a little bit confused about those things. But if you guys want to pick up a Hunter's Hall box for yourself, I'll leave a link in the description of this video. Head over there, check it out, see if there's a box that you like. I know their Western Big Game and their Whitetail boxes are good as well. So give it a look, see if it's something you want to check out, do a month, do a year, whatever you want to do. If you guys haven't already, be sure to hit the subscribe button down below. It means a lot when you guys do that, and then you can stay notified when I post new videos. It'll go in your subscription box, and if you really want to stay notified, ring that little bell down there, and it'll give you a ring on your phone when I post a new video. You can also follow me on my social media. I've got a Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and Facebook. So be sure to follow me on there and stay up to date with what's going on. But that's all I've got for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed today's video, and I'll catch you on the next one.